So today let's talk about proportionate image rescaling. So from the words themselves, proportionate image rescaling. In Photoshop, there are two main ways to do this. First is resampling, and the second is resizing. Now you might be asking me, Jan, aren't they the same thing? Well, no. Reason being, they're designed for two different outputs, for screen and for print. So before you start, it's very important to decide what kind of output you want. Remember, resampling is for screen outputs, and resizing is for print outputs. Now that that's out of the way, let's open up Photoshop. Let's load the image we want to resize and decide the output we want. In this case, I want it for screen. So now that I know that, let's press the shortcut for image size. Control Alt I or Command Opt Shift I for Mac. The first thing we need to do here is turn on resample. This will enable a unit of measurement for screens only, which is pixels. So remember that, always turn on resample and pixels for screen outputs, and then pick either the width or the height to readjust. In this case, I want to readjust the width to 1920 pixels. After that, Photoshop will automatically rescale the height and resolution proportionately to the width you've given. The last thing we need to do here is input the value for resample. There are just two things to consider here. Just by cubic smoother and by cubic sharper. By cubic smoother is for enlarging images. Like in this case, I upscaled it. I want the edges to be smoother, not pixelated. But if you were to downscale the image though, choose by cubic sharper so the image won't be blurry. Again, I'm going to pick by cubic smoother and click OK. And that's it for screen resampling. Now let's move on for print. It's almost the same thing. Now for those of you who don't like that Control alt i shortcut I taught you a while ago, in the menu, click image and then click image size it'll bring out the same pop-out window that came out when you used the shortcut now instead of having resample on we need to have it off for print because print outputs don't use pixels their units of measurement use either inches, centimeters, or millimeters. Now let's say I want this to be printed on a short bond paper, a letter size. That's 8.5 by 11 inches. So I'll click here, pick inches, and I'll take that 11, the widest width that I want, and put it here. So it stays in a landscape orientation. Photoshop again automatically rescales the height and resolution in proportion to the width I've inserted. Just click OK and you're done. So thanks for watching guys, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, leave a comment below if you have suggestions for future Photoshop tutorial videos, and subscribe plus click the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this.